Okay, guys, make sure you guys hit up Gamer the Plug on Instagram or Gamer the Plug 24 on Twitter to buy or sell a stacked NBA 2K20 account or to get your badges grinded, especially since it's hard getting badges this year. But, anyways, guys, the link will be the first link in the description. So make sure you guys go hit them up. Now, let's get straight into the video, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double HD. And I'm back in the building with yet another banger, y'all. Now, today's video, I think, is going to be very helpful for all of you guys. So, whether you're a guard or a center, make sure you guys watch this entire video so I can give you guys the best way to use all these badge upgrades to your advantage and make them the most useful as possible so before we get into this video make sure you guys smash a like on this video if we get the 250 likes i will do either whatever's the most highly requested in the comments so request what you think is the most important i will do another video just like this on defensive badges playmaking badges or driving badges so let me know in the comments which one you guys want next but anyways also subscribe to the channel we are so close to 20 thousand subs and turn on notifications because i do stream on this youtube channel just about every single day but anyways some of the stuff i say in this video on these badges are gonna be my personal opinion but i would say most of it is factual information okay now i'm not even partnered with these guys but 2klabs.com basically what they do is test they test these badges and what they have is they time you know they put on a jump shot let's say and they time their meter the exact same they have like you know a button presser that just automatically times something the exact same every time so they basically time their jump shot perfect every single time and they take thousands of shots with these badges equipped and test these badges put them to numbers and numbers don't lie and uh, basically tell us what um you know level these badges are the best at and what badges are more important and what these badges do so i know all the, the information that they know and i am putting that uh, knowledge into this video um, and telling you guys what the best badges are so I'm going to do two important parts so one will be uh, the guard builds and uh, in those guard builds I will show what badges you need for um, a guard build that has gr a green pie chart so a shooting pie chart and what badges you should have if you don't have a green pie chart on a guard and then the same for center I will do the same for center so I will do the best center badges for um, a center that has a green pie chart so a shooting pie chart and one that doesn't have green in their pie chart so yeah let's just get straight into this video guys i cannot stress enough that you need to watch the entire video if you disagree on something and you didn't watch the whole video then i don't want to hear you in the comments telling me that this is better and that's better just watch the entire video now let's get straight into it man so like i said in the beginning of the video i'm going to be using 2k lab factual stats and statistics to back up my decisions on what badges you should use for guards and centers depending on your pie charts so first we're going to go through some badges and go through some statistics that you probably didn't know about so let's go ahead and do that so here are some stats about uh flexible release so as you can see by the stats on the screen inside window basically means a full bar and 10 25 and 40 milliseconds is how far away you are from a full bar so as you can see if you look at the individual stats on whether this badge is on bronze, silver, gold, or hall of fame, you would have to be shooting earlies or lates for this badge to have a good effect on you and a good enough effect that is worth one to four badge upgrades. So this badge really isn't worth your upgrades unless you have a really bad internet or inconsistent internet. So here are some stats for catch and shoot. This is for lower rated three point rating players and center window is full bars and early windows is like for shooting earlies or lates. So as you can see by the graph, there is green percentages and make percentages. So all we care about is green percentages because make percentages are basically full bars and those don't go as much, especially with no shot meter. So green percentage, the bronze catch and shoot is actually better than hall of fame and bronze is only a, about 1% lower than silver and gold. So the bronze catch and shoot is actually at its best for lower rated shooters and performs better than the hall of fame gold and silver so that means bronze catch and shoot is worth the badge upgrade here is another chart for high rated three point players that have 80 and 93 pointers and hall of fame catch and shoot clearly takes the voting and is actually worth the upgrades so this means hall of fame catch and shoot is the best 
for high rated shooters and bronze can shoot actually performs better for low rated shooters so the next badge we're looking at right now is hot star hot star is another great badge now as you can see we're looking at stats for 90 rated shooting players so this is high rated shooting players so if you're in the 80s or the 90s and this badge actually makes sense as you can see we're going to look at center um speed which is like full bars and green percentage because that is the most important stat green percentage and this makes sense bronze is the worst hall of fame is the best so obviously hall of fame hot star is the best all in order worth the upgrades but if we look at 70 rating lower rated shooter bronze and gold take the crown for the best for a hot star you never want to use silver because bronze is better but you also don't want to use hall of fame because gold is only two percent less and that's a whole badge upgraded that you're using that's only going to give you plus two percent so silver and hall of fame hot star are the best for low rated shooters and for high rated shooters hall of fame hot star is just the best now i think the most interesting badge of them all is corner specialist and that is silver corner specialist if you look at these stats these are for all shooters corner specialist silver is better in green percentage and make percentage than any other level just think about how many people on 2k actually think hall of fame and gold is better than silver when silver actually performs the best silver corner specialist is the best it's silver or nothing another badge we have is hot zone hunter these are stats for hot zones without the badge so obviously the higher three point rating you have the less effective it is to have hot zones and the less penalty you have to be in a cold zone but the lower the three point rating the more important it is to have hot zones and the bigger penalty you have for being in cold zones now 2k labs did a test with hot zone hunter and hot zone hunter actually gave a 20 percent increase on hall of fame to people with low rated shooting stats so all this means is that hall of fame hot zone hunter is good on both high rated shooters and low rated shooters but is very important on low rated shooters especially so those are some interesting facts about some of the badges but before i get into what badge setups are the best for centers and guards depending on pie charts i'm going to talk about some badges that you should never use and why you shouldn't use them number one the worst badge of them all one of the most overrated badges in nba 2k20 is difficult shots look at this chart by 2k labs if you have bronze difficult shots it gives you plus one moving shot silver plus two gold plus three hall of fame plus four that is not worth your upgrades at all that is probably one of the most overrated badges of all time this year in 2k20 difficult shots i repeat do not waste your badge upgrades on difficult shots another badge that's gotten a lot of hype lately is steady shooter do not use steady shooter steady shooter as you can see by this chart right here completely plummets your chances of making open shots and it is not worth your badge upgrades if anything this makes you a worse player and forces you to take the bad shots and doesn't allow you to take open shots and it will be very frustrating now another list of badges that you just shouldn't use flexible release do not use that badge unless you have bad internet problems slippery off of usually isn't worth your badge upgrades tireless shooter doesn't really work enough if you have handles for days don't use tireless shooter steady shooter like we talked about isn't good deep phase don't use it unless you're a post score ice in your veins it's a free throw badge don't use that badge this year Early's and late free throws always go in anyways pick and popper doesn't work you'll be fine as a shooting center with hot zone hunter pump fake maestro only works on ai's difficult shots doesn't give enough boost to your fades for it to be useful do not use these badges right here i repeat it is not worth your badge upgrades all right so finally we are on to my tips on badges that you should use first we are on to the shooting pie chart for guard builds these are the most important badges in my opinion First, the most important badge, Hall of Fame Quick Draw. If you're not maxing your Quick Draw, you're trolling. It makes it harder for defenders to go close out. It makes it forces them to close out faster. Range Extender needs to be maxed to Hall of Fame. You need to make it easier for yourself to drive. You need to be a threat from deep outside the three-point line. Hall of Fame Green Machine. As soon as you hit two green threes or green shots, that green window is going to expand and it's going to be so much more easier to green. Then it's going to be Hot Zone Hunter on Silver. Then if you have any extra badges after that, I would then go with Deadeye and Hot Star. If you have any extra badges after that, then go to Catch and Shoot. If you even have more extra badges than the Corner Specialist. And then if you even have more, then I would say mm, Clutch Shooter, Tireless Shooter are the next two best badges there. Maybe Flexible Release if your uh, internet isn't as good. Um, but any other badges really aren't worth your upgrades here.
but remember hot star is at its best and at and is most worth it at gold and silver and corner specialist is at its best at silver so the last guard build is just guard builds that don't have green in their pie chart they don't have shooting in their pie chart they can only get badges that go up to gold so we're going to use the 10 rule you probably have 10 shooting badges for 10 shooting badges put on gold quake draw gold range extender silver hot zone and silver green machine if you have any extra badges after that you could you have multiple options you could put green machine to gold hot zone hunter to gold you can put volume shooter up to gold maybe hot star on silver or maybe upgrade the dead eye i would upgrade either hot star dead eye or volume shooter after those 10 badges or then or like i said maybe upgrade green machine to gold or hot zone hunter to gold but that is my advice on builds that don't have green in their pie chart when it comes to guards now we are on to the center so shooting center centers that have green in their pie chart so you can get badges the hall of fame and shooting number one gold quick draw unlike guards you don't need hall of fame gold, uh quick draw but gold quick draw is very important number two hall of fame range extender number three and four hall of fame green machine hall of fame hot zone hunter hot zone hunter is very important especially on center so hall of fame is a must if you have any extra badges off of that after that bronze catch and shoot would be the next badge remember bronze catch and shoot is the at its best on bronze when it comes to low rated shooters like shooting centers then you if you sit in the corner you can go silver or bronze catch or corner specialist uh, if you have any extra badges you know maybe you can go silver or gold hot star or you could max your dead eye to hall of fame it's really up to you at that point lastly we have center builds that don't have green in their pie chart don't have shooting in their pie chart so most of you guys only have one to ten badges so if you only have one badge i would go with bronze catch and shoot like we said catch and shoot is at its best at bronze if you have maybe two to four badges once you have bronze catch and shoot i would say then get the, the quick draw to gold once you get if you have even more badges than that then you can go silver green machine or silver hot zone hunter or even both and if you have more to spare i would say if you sit in the corner go with silver corner specialist but if not i would go with silver range extend but that's going to be it for the not shooting center build badges now i know i talked very fast in this video make sure you guys rewind at certain parts and if you didn't watch the entire video do not question my decisions at the end you need to watch this entire video and listen very carefully i talk about a lot of badges and why they're good why they're bad and which levels are good and which levels are bad in the beginning and the middle of the video and i explained why i showed those stats and where i got those stats from in the very beginning of the video but if this video helped you guys out at all make sure to drop a like i know this video helped you out at all because i put a lot of time and effort into you into it and give you guys a lot of tips and tricks for shooting an nba 2a20 make sure to subscribe to the channel like i said comment down below what badges you guys want next i can do defense driving or playmaking let me know in the comments let's get this video to 250 likes so we can get that next video it's been your boy Henry, aka Double HDF, man, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. I'm feeling your energy, and Shorty, man, she really into me. I got lots of enemies, and they wanna act like they friends with me. I came up from bummy tees, now catch me just rocking Javonchi.